Senator Freeman and the two other senators who are supporting her bill. She has vast experience and a depth of knowledge in mental health landscape and with particular reference to Peter's House Community Hub approach uh, is in line with what I and Sinn Féin have been advocating for. That communities need to own the topic of mental health. Communities need to serve their people, the local people. It needs to be run by, of and for their communities. The argument can be made that this house should be a place where we work as a team to take an idea or a first draft and to work to support the leading senator to amend and refine their legislation to produce the best peace that we can for the good of the people of this island and in this case for the good of our children. This bill is very well intentioned and highlights a serious problem which has to be dealt with by government. No child should be placed inappropriately in an adult ward without additional supports. It is important to note recent trends in admitting of children to adult units because we all know what a real issue it is. Between 2015 and 16, it's seen that the number of children placed in adult units decreased and this is to be welcomed. But I think this improvement is short-lived and we cannot be fooled into thinking that the problem, problem is beginning to go away. In fact, I fear we're actually beginning to see a rise in figures again this year. In the first four months of this year alone, 38 children were admitted to adult units. If that trend continues, that would mean over 100 children will be admitted to adult units in 2017. It's a big increase from the 2016 figures of 68. In light of this analysis, this legislation is more timely than ever. I want to refer to um, Deputy Pat Buckley uh, got a response regarding, uh, regarding the availability of child and adolescent inpatient beds in 2017 and the HSE has said it's been, the beds have been severely impacted upon and the reduction in availability. It's 50% in the Dublin region due to staff difficulties and obviously it's uh, the, the capacity issue. Unichef UNICEF uh, on Monday released their report, their report and it showed Ireland's 11 to 15 year olds are amongst the highest, I think it's the second or third highest among all nations surveyed, which was 37, um, that the 11 to 15 year olds in our society, in our country are uh, experiencing um, at least two uh, traumatic mental health stresses every week. That's significant. What are we doing to our children? What are we doing to our society? CAMS referrals have increased by 60% over the past six years. This is real, real heartbreaking stuff and we actually are just cutting every service to the bone. It can't go on. It is unacceptable to put a child in with adults. I come from 30 years experience in, as a psychiatric nurse. Those 30 years I've seen children, uh, they're, they're special, it's called special and you put a staff member with them, they're never more than arm's length away to protect the child in the adult psychiatric hospital. It is frightening through a child's eyes, it is a dangerous environment. They witness horrific situations that children should never ever witness. It's hard enough when you're older to witness them. They are isolated, they are traumatised and that's even before they begin to address or try and address the issue of why they're there in the first place. I'm extremely concerned and have been trying, been very active um, and vocal about the closure of the youth mental health beds in Darrell Lynn in my constituency of Dublin South Central. In fact, in this very house, I challenged the Minister about it only a couple of weeks ago. It cannot be all about beds. I understand that. We need the community-based uh, approach. And I'm a long-term advocate of community wellbeing approach, of community hubs. But beds are also important, Minister, and I'm devastated that the reality on the ground does not currently facilitate Senator Freeman's bill, if and when passed, to function. Again, I want to refer to a PQ that Deputy O'Reilly um, got on my behalf on the 19th of June. These are all recent. 
The recommendations of Vision for Change were based on population figures for 2002 census, which was 3.9 million. And the total recommended staff then was 10,650. The 2016 population is now 4.7 million, and the requirements of staffing to be adjusted should be almost 13,000. We have a significant increase in our population over the last decade and a significant increase in our birth rate. In fact, I believe we are considered the youngest country in Europe. Overall, though, when you ask for stats of the entire country, overall, 52% of whole-time equivalent posts in mental health CAM services are filled. That leaves 48% unfilled. Where are we going? What are we doing? What are we actually thinking? 48% deficit in caring for our kids. I just, it's a bit gobsmacking. My position and Sinn Féin's position is that we support this bill, but we may seek to work with Senator Freeman to amend it slightly to offer more detail so that the core premise of this bill can be realised. I would like to flag we will offer a more detailed criteria and definition in which, in which it may be acceptable for someone over 18 to be placed in an adult unit and we may seek to do this as the bill progresses. We would also like to set time limits set in order to find a place for a child in a more appropriate setting. I believe that these are the contributions that will make the Senator's bill and our intention would be to strengthen this bill and therefore continue to support it. Of course, we will also call for a more cohesive and strategic approach from the government to child and youth mental health overall. We need investment in the community. We need community ownership in community hubs. We need 24-7 access to care for our children, not just 9 to 5 services. And we ultimately need to set up where no child is treated in an adult centre. And we're very happy to support Senator Freeman to progress this. Minister, I ask you as your first point of a uh, first job, be passionate, be compassionate as well. Reopen the beds in Darylin as your first point, whatever the cost is. We can work with you, the unions will work with you, and they have and they have solutions. I think it would make a great statement of your intent and be proactive. Reopen those eleven beds. Please do not depend on the old reliable will do a review. We're sick of reviews. We have reviews coming out, dripping out of our ears. They do nothing but kick everything to touch. Gurumila Malgoth.